What is up, people? My name is Tim Buell, and today we are talking about the top five pieces of drum gear you have to have in 2020. So this is actually the third year that I am doing this series of what's in my stick bag. And this year we're going a little bit further than just stick bag. I'm just talking about drum gear in general. These five things are pieces of gear that I think any drummer could benefit from using, from trying out. And um, let's just get into it. Number one is something that's very near and dear to my heart. And it is the Ludwig Supraphonic six and a half by 14. This snare drum is the snare that you'll see in every playing clip in this video. just the most well-rounded drum that I own. I've used the snare on so many recordings, so many gigs. It was the only snare I owned for like six years, and it just kind of does everything. It's a metal snare drum, so it's very, very road worthy. You can throw it in cases. You don't have to be scared. I've even taken mine out of a case and it's been like covered in frost and uh, it's, it's still kicking. Having a snare drum that's well-rounded that can give you lots of different tunings makes life much easier because if you're going to a session, you're going to a gig, you don't have to bring separate snare drums. You can just have one snare drum in the Ludwig Supraphonic 6.5 by 14 really does that. If you're looking to add one snare drum and get a lot of bang for your buck, this is a great snare drum. Number two is a backing tracks rig. So backing tracks rig is any kind of thing that can run click track and backing tracks to accompany musicians live on stage. And this is something, running tracks is something that more and more artists, more and more bands want a drummer to be able to do in any kind of setup. In the thumbnail, you'll see an audio interface, and that's actually how I prefer to run tracks, using the software Ableton Live and an audio interface, because that gives you the most flexibility. I have a few videos on YouTube about Ableton and running tracks in Ableton, and then I also have a course at timbillmusic.com slash Ableton, so if you really wanna get into backing tracks, that's a great resource for you. Even though running tracks with Ableton will have a little bit more setup, you can get a small audio interface that has, you know, four to to six outputs and you can still, I can still fly with my tracks rig. I put my laptop and my audio interface in my backpack, have my stick bag, and then I can fly and, you know, use the backline kit and whatever. And I still have my tracks rig. So even if you're running tracks with Ableton, it doesn't have to be this big, huge setup. The other way you can run backing tracks is a Roland SPD-SX. And I have several videos on YouTube about that. And I also go over it in the backing tracks Ableton course that I have. Backing tracks, it's really important that you're able to run those in 2020 because more and more bands, more and more artists are wanting drummers to be able to run tracks. And it's a very, very valuable skill to have, even if you're just playing at your church on Sundays. A lot of churches now, you know, even though most of the musicians are hobbyists, they still need to be able to run tracks. So piece of gear number two that I think everybody should own in 2020 is a backing tracks rig. Before I get to number three in this countdown, I wanna update you this backpack, Vic Firth backpack stick bag combination. I talked about that last year and I just wanna let you know after a year of touring and traveling and all that stuff, the backpack is still in great shape and it's killing it. And if you haven't picked one of those up, it's really, really worth it. That's just a little freebie piece of gear because I went over that last year. Number three is a piece of gear that is uh, way cheaper than the first two and um, you can find it at most music stores. And it is a pair of Vic Firth 
SD2 Boleros. These sticks are amazing. They're not too long and they're very, very round, but lightweight. So they're lightweight, so they're easy to play, but because they're so fat and, you know, kind of their width is so large, they give a really, really big sound. So even when you're playing super quiet and you want light sticks, because these sticks are have such like roundness, I don't know, they just sound great and they sound fat. As well, the tip of the stick is just really, really articulate. It's really, really small, but very round and it just gives such a pointed, I, I just love it, it's so articulate. It sounds amazing on cymbals, so I'm about to show you a side-by-side -side test of a normal acorn type teardrop tip that would go on the end of like a typical 5A. I'll A-B it against the Bolero and I think you'll hear the difference. So that's piece of gear number three, a pair of Vic Firth SD2 Bolero drumsticks, I think will be really interesting for you guys to experiment with. Piece of gear number four that I think every drummer should have in 2020 is simply just a pack of moon gel but um, not just any old moon gel, but the clear moon gel. A lot of you will know that for years and years and years, moon gel has been blue, but they now make it in clear. And this is nothing new for 2020, but I feel like there are a lot of drum dampening options out there now. Hundreds of thousands of people are making drum dampeners. And to, to me, moon gel just works. The fact that it's clear is amazing. And a lot of people don't know that if you run moon gels uh, under like warm water, with some like hand soap and you just kind of rub the moon gels in your hand with some soap, you can actually clean the moon gels off. And I think a lot of the drum dampeners out there, some of them you can reuse and wash and kind of get life back and some of them you can't. Moon gel to me just works. You can wash it with hand soap and you know renew the old, old moon gels you have and kind of make them brand new again. And I think moon gel is just, it just, works. And I think in a world where everybody's trying to rethink things just to do it, um, moon gel. I think every drummer needs it. And get the clear kind, because the blue kind is just kind of tacky. And last but not least, this is not necessarily drum gear, but if you travel at all as a drummer. So you're a musician and you travel, whether that's touring or you play super early in the morning for sessions, you play super early in the morning on at church. Uh, everybody needs some coffee. And piece of gear number five that I think every drummer, every person should have in 2020 is this. This is Velodrome Instant Coffee. Velodrome is an awesome coffee roastery. Um, they're located in Marquette, Michigan, and this coffee is instant. And I, I know a lot of you are thinking like, oh, instant coffee is so, so terrible. And you're, you're right, it usually is. But Velodrome has found some way to make instant coffee amazing. Inside the box, there's just this little packet that's black and it has instant coffee. You pour this into a cup, you pour in eight ounces of hot water and you have instant amazing coffee. When I was touring full time, coffee is something that I like having and you never know what you're gonna get when you show up at a venue and they're providing coffee. Usually it's pretty terrible. When I was touring, I used to travel with an AeroPress, a coffee grinder, a little boiler for my water, a, a reusable, I used to travel with all this coffee stuff. It would all fit in my backpack and I had it down to a pretty awesome science. But this instant coffee is way easier. And no, this instant coffee isn't quite as good as a pour over you're gonna make yourself or a full aero press, but it's really, really good and it's really, really easy. And the company Velodrome is just, they're amazing people. So this is something that, you know, I know it's not drum gear, but I think we all like our coffee. Having a consistent coffee experience can be really, really important when you're on the road, when you're touring, when you're playing early. And this makes it easier than ever. You And it will save you money. You can go into any gas station, bring your coffee cup in, use the hot water for free, and now you have 
coffee, and you don't have to go to places like Starbucks. I like how consistent Starbucks is, but it's not the best coffee. And this really takes care of a lot of problems. So those are my top five favorite pieces of drum gear for the year 2020. Uh, but put below in the comments, what are your you know favorite pieces of gear that you've discovered uh, and that you think everybody should try out in the year 2020? If you like this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, and you can also subscribe to the channel. I'm coming out with stuff not every week, but still regularly. So subscribing is the best way to see a video whenever it comes out out. As well, check out the other what's in my stick bag kind of gear videos I have. Those are in the in the description below and also probably popping up somewhere on the screen. I think that's it for me. Uh, I hope you get to try out some of the stuff. Remember, put below in the comments, uh, you know, what your favorite drum gear is that you think people should check out. And uh, see you in the next video.